Hello there everybody, welcome back to another Battletown video. There's a huge update with the Star Wars mods right now at this moment in time, with a vast collection growing. If you have not got yourselves these bad boys yet, I want to see how these play out like, we're going to show you right now. Okay, so there is quite a few things that has been added. Some of them I am saving for another video for another time. So I am going to be showing you a mixture of different stuff. And then the other things I have not included in this video, I will be showing in other videos with legacy sabers and so on. So let's get started with this. So an example of some other Star Wars mods that has been added into Battle Talent recently is our first set of blasters. This blaster right here, which I am showing, is the NN14. And as you can see, when you blast it, it sounds like an actual blaster from Star Wars. And it's one of the cool ones that they have shown a lot in the movies. It's like single pistol blasters, which I freaking love. And it works like an absolute tree as well. So freaking OP, I love it. Then, next, right, what we've got here, we have now started getting legacy lightsabers. So the lightsaber that we have got here is Obi-Wan Kenobi's Padawan, or first lightsaber, based off Qui-Gon Jinn's lightsaber right here. So if we activate it... Oh, look at that! It's so freaking cool! You'll probably be noticing as well... Why do lightsabers look different? They look very, very, very different from what they do before. Why is that? Good question. If we go into our settings right here, so we've got post-process right here, which basically makes the lightsabers look a bit more groovy. So if I was deciding to turn that off, it would look like this now. And from what the lightsaber looked like before, which you saw, if we go and add it right over here, it's gonna look a bit near. It looks a bit near right now, so if you want the lightsabers to look like actual lightsabers, make sure to go to settings right here, if this decides to ever turn on again, and turn post-processing on, which makes our lightsabers look like actual lightsabers and not freaking glow sticks. Next, what we have got is a new type of lightsaber right here. Now, this is the unstable lightsaber. With this, you can see the kyber crystal right inside this lightsaber of a nice purple kyber crystal. And when we activate it, it looks like this. It's a nice pink purplish color, which I freaking adore. It works like a treat as well. And it's a nice basic hill, so it's nothing too complicated, but it shows the unstableness of the lightsaber, which I like a lot. Next, we have got the infamous... Darth Vader's lightsaber. And look at that. That is, a, that is a monster. Like, this is an absolute monster of a lightsaber that's been added. I'm so happy this is the thing now. Next, we have got the Sith lightsaber. You've already seen this, and I have included this in other videos, but this has been updated, so there has been a bit of updates on the top of the hill. You probably won't notice any differences if you don't use this lightsaber as much, but if we go like this, the hilt has been changed, so now you can see more red glow-up details in this, and the beam of the lightsaber looks a little bit more similar to Darth Vader's lightsaber right here. Next, and last but not least, we have got the two-handed lightsaber, a recently brand new lightsaber added into the Star Wars mods area, and it's a really cool and interesting hill, because with this, you can use two hands to go like, boom, 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 like this, and it's got a really cool sort of hilt design, which I'm all for. So when we activate it, wait a minute, wait a minute, there we go. Whoa, and look at this. So we can also use like one hand as well, but it depends what you want to do. Like if you want to sort of go a bit more lightsaber styled with two hands right here, you can do, but if you want to go with the one hand, it still works fine. It just works a little bit more slower. So 
as always, this is a battle talent video, so we do need to just deactivate that. We'll go and try these out on a few skeletons now, and see what these play out like. And of course, we need to show you how these bad boys play out with this new recent update, with this being added to App Lab as well. So let's go and give ourselves a little bit of some of these, and try these bad boys out. Let's do it. So there we go folks, probably one of the most short ex examples of what I can show you with the capabilities of these lightsabers, but if you really do practice with these lightsabers, there's been so many improvements with these now for the star icons and the way that they work and look a bit more, which I'm so happy Fonzie and Bartholomew have gladly worked on. These are the two guys that you can thank for these Star Wars mods, so do expect some more Star Wars videos where I am going to be showing a few more lightsabers than I usually do and a few more blasters than I usually do when more blasters get added and more legacy sabers and so on do get added. There will be whole videos and gameplay dedicated to these bad boys right here so you, you can sure expect me to go and have a little bit of a look at these but if you aren't aware go to battletalent.mod.io to go and download the zip files for all of these mods. I've already made videos on how to install these mods onto your quest so you can play these on the app lab version and the itch.io version of the apk download but as always guys thank you so much for watching my name's hn